Hey there, it's Yobo. I'd like to welcome you back today. 286 of life according to Yobo. Baby, you got that right. 286. I'm going to quit playing. I'm about to record 14 videos so we can get up to number 300. I know this series is helping somebody. Hallelujah. I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? I tell you what. You start thinking according to Yobo. Hold on a minute. Pause my music. I got some good notes here. In the previous chapter, because we're done with chapter two, Yobo was telling you that we women tend to ask the wrong questions. You can listen to days 283, 284, 285, and don't be confused. There are two 285 messages on YouTube. I uploaded, thought I uploaded 285 to Facebook and I didn't. So I re-recorded the video and I went ahead and I put it on YouTube. I put it on Facebook, then I put it on YouTube and I got some of you confused. But it's okay, listen to it twice. Because sometimes you got to hear this over and over. But let me tell you what I did before we move forward into chapter 3. I want to talk about a few things with you. While I was watching daytime television, daytime court TV, ladies, I want you to watch daytime court TV and then see if you have learned anything. You'd be surprised how much you have learned in this series. Sometimes... When we get ourselves in the situations that we think we in love, because look, when we in love, we can't think straight. So when we think we in love, our friends are trying to tell us stuff, but we don't want to hear it. We going on social media, seeing everybody hating on us, not realizing that we just a plum fool and don't want to take somebody else's advice. So what I'm going to do now, I want to tell you about some of these fools, not silly, not stupid, but some fools I saw on court TV, daytime court TV, and I want to see if you can figure out where they went wrong. If you can do so, then that means you won't get played. I mean, at least if you're going to get played, you're going to get played in a different way, but not in this way. Okay, let's go to the first broad. She met the man online. She said, well, we hit it off right away because he was cute. What did Yobo tell you? We don't ask the right questions. She saw his picture and he was cute. Cute don't pay the light bill. Cute don't pay the phone bill. Cute don't buy groceries. But she said he was cute. The relationship moved quickly. She had her own place. He lived, her words, not mine, between his dad's place and his grandma's place. Stop right there. Boo, you got your own place where you and your son are living. He lives between his dad's place and his grandma's place. Ain't nothing wrong with that, because I lived with my dad for 13 years. But prior to then, I, well, I was their caregiver. But prior to then, my husband and I lived with my parents for one full year. We had a, just Michelle was born. Patch wasn't born yet. We stayed there because we were saving money to buy a house. So if dude is living with between his mama house and his grandma house, first of all, you got to wonder why you going back and forth. This is a dude right here going back and forth. His mama get mad, put him out. He going to stay with grandma till she put him out. Then he goes back to mama's house or to his dad's house, mom and dad, whoever it is. But that's okay. If he's living between his parents' house and his grandparents' That's when you have to ask some questions. Oh, well, how long have you been with him? Because you're wondering, has he ever paid rent anywhere? Has he ever paid a mortgage anywhere? Has he ever had a place on his own? Anywhere. Other than living in a place where the uh, the rent and or uh, 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 the mortgage, all that is in somebody else's name. Has he ever had his own stuff? But no, honey, he was cute. She wasn't asking no questions like that. Okay, things advanced quickly. He moved in with her and her son. Things advanced quickly. This dude could have been a pedophile. 
you she better be glad all she got was played financially she could have been in court let me stop let me keep going he moved in with her next thing she knows he posted a picture of himself and another girl on Snapchat. And that is when the fight began. Okay, I'm going to let y'all solve this. We ask the wrong questions. We focus on stuff that doesn't matter. Stuff like what? What's she focused on? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Give me the answer. She focused on what? Uh-huh. How many of y'all said he was cute? Okay, give yourself two points. She focused on the fact that he was cute. Judge Mathis, when she got through telling the story, Judge Mathis said, wait, hold up a minute. You moved a man into your home without knowing him a significant amount of time. You didn't know nothing about his qualifications. Uh, well, no. Now she looking like a fool. You met a man online and you moved him in with you and your son. Yeah. Okay, let me hear him tell the story. He got some tickets in her car. He got pulled over. He had weed. No, his car. He did have a car. He got tickets. He got pulled over because he had weed in his car. Her stupid butt went and got a payday loan in her name. That's one thing she was suing him for, to pay their loan, to pay the ticket, or bail him out of jail, or whatever it was, to get his car back. Then she bought him an iPad. Then there was a third expense, which I can't even remember. Next thing we know, they on the Judge Mathis show. I took a look at him, and guess what I said? <laughs> he sure is cute. <laughs> cute as he want to be. And he was a defendant. Life according to your bo baby, if you want a relationship with no mess, no stress, and no BS, you need to watch these videos. I know how to act like a lady. But how do I think like a man? You also need to watch these daytime court TV shows. You're going to find very, very few men getting played. You're going to find plenty women, baby, become a dime a dozen, silly as the day is long. He was cute, Judge Mathis. Mm-hmm. He's still cute and your butt is broke. All right, y'all. Come back tomorrow. Come back for day 287 of Life According to Yobo. I'm out of here. I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? Watch these videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Bye-bye.